All right, now that we have signed up for Flow Lab, the next thing we need to do is create a new game and explore the game making interface. I'm going to come up here and click New Game in the top right hand corner. And it's going to take me to a place where I can do a quick Flow Lab tutorial. You're welcome to pause the video and do that if you want, or you can go ahead and click New Game, which is what I'm going to do. Choose OK. And here we have our interface where we can create our game. So let's take a look. We have this area in the middle, which is where we can preview our game. We have a few options across the bottom. We have settings, we have layer, we have game levels, library, and play. So first things first, let's click on settings. We're going to change this to the name of our game. We're going to do a basic Pong game, so go ahead and change that to Pong. Notice you have inputs for your gravity X and gravity Y. So that is your X axis, which is across the screen, and your Y axis, which is up and down. We want both of these to be zero, so you can come in here and change those to zero. We want this to be a game that if we're played on a mobile device such as a phone or a tablet, it could be easily played in landscape orientation or when the device is turned sideways. So we want to make the game wider than it is tall. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 21 blocks wide for the height, and I'm going to go from 10 to 11. And that looks like a good playing area for our game. Notice we have the option to configure for an iPhone, which is the upgraded version of the program. Right now we're using the free version, so we don't need to worry about that right now. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So that's done. In the Layers option, notice we have background, game world, and user interface. In our next video, we're going to change the background, so we're not going to worry about that right now. But I do want to point out that what is selected is what doesn't have that gray background behind it. Right now, I see that game world is selected. So if I were to click background, now I can actually create the background. And again, we're going to do that in the next video. You have game levels. You have library for when you do have your sprites and objects and want to use those over and over again. And then of course play will allow you to play the game. This is a quick tour of the interface for Flow Lab and getting our settings configured for our Pong game. Up next, we're going to create a background. Thanks for watching.